Hey my sussy little future Kafka mains, and today we're gonna be talking about everything you need to know before summoning for Kafka. Really just talking about her skills if you didn't know that already. Everything you're gonna need to actually build her with, and then we'll talk about what her best in slot light cones and relics should be guys. So let's go ahead and hop right into the skills first just to give a basic breakdown of the character. Talking about her skill first guys, she's gonna be targeting one main enemy and then hitting two adjacent enemies. This will also be proccing all DOT on enemies at a reduced amount which is really nice. This will help with DOT teams. This is why I'm excited for Kafka, not necessarily Kafka herself, but being able to run a full DOT team. This is gonna be crazy guys probably, right? Surely. Her ultimate's gonna be targeting all enemies, then she'll be applying a shock dot on the enemy and then on top of this she'll automatically be procking this shock dot damage immediately as soon as the ult's activated this is also going to be shocking the enemy each turn for a pretty sizable amount and then finally guys her talent every single time any of your allies do a basic attack she will be doing a follow-up attack this will also be applying shock to the enemy as well basically the same amount of shock that you would be applying if you were to do an ult on the enemy this is actually really really big because the shock dot that you get from the ultimate is really high this can only be triggered one time per turn though so you're only getting one follow-up attack per turn if any of your allies use a base attack so you will be getting this talent off every single turn also guys i do want to state we're not going to go into any leaks here so i won't be talking about any concrete numbers that she does because this is all subject to change at the end of the day and i'm really not trying to get my channel taken down mommy ho yo i know uh, i'm a small content creator that might not happen but i don't want to take that chance but if you really want to find these stats guys they're not hard to find a wink wink maybe on the biggest forum site in the world wink wink if you don't know what that is, then get them formed. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the actual cost to build Kafka or how to actually build her. So for Kafka herself, guys, she's going to need 3.9 million credits, around 290 purple books. She's going to need 139 of the big trace materials for the Inhili class, which are these little dream catcher things. She'll also be needing 64 of the medium, 18 of the small. She'll be needing eight of these planet sphere things here which are very hard to get and they're very limited you can't farm these so we'll be needing 12 boss materials from the big booba boss uh, 65 of the essential materials you get this from fighting the guy in the lalfu the, the guy that summons his little minions in and he regains health and they don't die just use pala easy clap and as far as the easy to get trace materials you're gonna be needing 73 of the big 71 of the medium and 56 of the small if you also plan on getting your light cone though that's gonna be an extra 890,000 credits uh 166 of the big exp things you're also gonna need 15 more of the big dream catchers 12 of the medium ones and four of the small ones as far as the easy trace materials to get you're gonna need around 14 of the big ones 20 of the medium ones and 20 of the small ones and that's really it as far as building Kafka goes. So you can go ahead and preem farm all these materials right now, given you've beat all of 1.2 and you have Booba Boss unlocked. Uh, yeah, so if you are planning to pull for Kafka, might as well go ahead and start farming away now so you have enough time to level her up to max whenever you get her, guys. But before hopping into what her theoretical build is as far as best light cone goes and also best gear you can run on her, please subscribe to the channel, boys. We're gonna be doing a giveaway for Kafka. So all you need to do for that is join the Discord and subscribe to the the channel there is a giveaway for kafka whenever she gets released so go ahead and join that if you haven't already also we'll be doing those pulls on stream live at twitch.tv forward slash youtube can't see me i stream there just about every single day so come check us out there if you haven't already but let me stop plugging now and let's go ahead and talk about the actual build so as far as her best in slot light cone guys it's going to be her signature light cone it's pretty nice it increases the damage dealt by the wear by a certain percentage it'll also be increasing the wearer's speed every time they launch an attack and they'll also be doing this special effect called erode on the enemies which just basically increases the dot of lightning damage so yeah this is going to be her best in slot but say you don't want to pull for her light cone what is the second best in slot the best in slot four star light cone for her guys is going to be good night sleep well and what this does is for every debuff the target enemy has it'll be increasing the damage dealt by the wear by 12 percent up to three times this is at an s1 guys luckily for me i got lucky and i have an s5 so this will be the one i'm definitely using i'm not pulling on the signature five star light cone we're just going with this because we'll have an absolute insane amount of damage with this s5 light cone third best in slot boys is going to be eyes of prey sampo's signature light cone is going to be increasing the wearer's effect hit rate and dot by a certain percentage just really good for haul around so if you have it go ahead and use it on her and as far as free to play light cone choice i would just use formata formata is going to be increasing the break effect by the wearer it also increases the damage to enemies afflicted with shock or wind shear so this will really help out if you have sampo on the team but it does kind of remove the options to run the triple dot team which we'll talk about teams in a 
a little bit here. Uh, this is kind of niche. It makes her more niche where she can only be used with two types of dot rather than all types of dot. So basically what I'm saying is it forces you to run Sampo, essentially. If you don't like Sampo, then... LU, I guess. Hopping into her gear now, guys. The best in slot for her is going to be the four piece lightning set. Uh, this is just all around going to be the best. It increases lightning damage and it also increases the wearer's attack whenever they use a skill. And she really doesn't need any crit damage or crit rate because all of her damage is basically from dot damage, which really only scales off a of break effect if you break their shield or attack percentage. Those are the main two things you're focusing on there. Another good second in slot you could run would be a two piece musketeer and a two piece lightning. This will be giving you a guaranteed 12% attack stat, so that's really nice on top of the 10% lightning damage that you're getting as well. There's also a third set you could potentially run. It can mess up rotations and it needs to be very finely tuned but two piece of the lightning and also two piece of the new hacker space set which gives a six percent speed buff you are going to need more speed substats if you want to run this uh but yeah we won't get into that in this video we'll be getting into that in the actual build guy when she comes out and finally as far as the planner set you would probably just want to run would just be the two piece space ceiling station with over 120 speed is going to be giving her attack which ultimately gives her more dot damage and the reason i say not to run pan galactic is really because you you don't need that high of an effect hit rate you're going to be getting diminishing returns with too high of an effect hit rate even though that 25 percent extra damage is nice you're really wasting out with the extra effect rate you're giving with it and it's just kind of down bad so i do like i said recommend that two-piece space ceiling station for the guaranteed 24% attack buff. Talking about some of the main stats you want to be getting on this gear, guys. On the body, you want to be aiming for attack percentage. If for E1, you maybe go for effect hit rate just because you do need a little bit higher effect hit rate for her. For the boots, you want to be aiming for speed or attack, whichever one you can get first or whatever way you have her tuned. Either or is going to work. Personally, I would recommend speed over attack percentage, but that's just me because I know a lot of players right now probably don't have the best gear, so a speed probably would be the best for now but if you can get her properly tuned and have a lot of speed substats then you might be able to run the attack one talking about the sphere now the sphere pretty obvious you should want to run lightning damage sphere the rope is going to be attack percentage if you have her e4 you want to go for energy region and that's so you can get her ult every four turns but if you don't have her e4 then it's pointless going for energy region just go for the attack percentage talking about some of those substats you want to be running guys you want at least a 12 percent effect hit rate on her if you are e0 now if you're e1 and above you do want a 46% effect hit rate in your gear because you will probably be getting around 20% from her little traces her little small nodes there so yeah it really just depends on how far you plan on going and pulling for Kafka that's gonna depend on the amount of effect hit rate you need number two guys focus on some speed speed is just really important for speed tuning your characters and also getting them at least above 135 speed that's just the main goal with about just about every character is over 135 speed also you want to get attack percentage as well because this is going to affect the amount of DOT she does and that's the main thing of her kit is dealing DOT damage. You could also maybe get crit rate crit damage. This will affect her initial hit, uh, like her initial damage she does before doing any of the DOT stuff. Like I said, Dot is not affected by any crit rate or crit damage, so it's not very important to have this. And then you can just kind of get whatever, whether that be effect resistance or HP percentage, whatever keeps her alive longer. She really doesn't seem that hard to build. Like I said, if you're E0, you only need an effect hit rate of 12%, and at E1, you need a 46% effect hit rate which is really not too hard to build into the kit especially because we can get that as a main stat on the chest plate i wouldn't recommend it your damage will probably fall off quite a bit but if that's what you have to do that's what you have to do now guys let's go ahead and talk about some teams you could be running with kafka you might have some of these characters already and honestly her banner is really good for this but we'll also be talking about that in a future video on why you should be summoning for kafka so as far as teams that you can run with her guys she can be ran with silver wolf pela or asta any of these will really help pela silver wolf they give defensive shred silver wolf can also change the type of the enemy as well which could really come in clutch as far as dealing more damage and applying more dot to the enemies uh Asta gives you a speed boost, obviously, just to get back up and running faster. She also gives an attack buff as well, which will then in turn increase the dot damage that you do. Uh, then you would also run a dot and a defender character, whether that be a healer or like a Japard or something like that. So Kafka, another DOT person, a debuffer, a buffer, and then your defensive character. Another team you could run, which I think this is the team I'm going to run, is you could run Kafka and two dot characters with a defensive character. When I say dot characters, I mean Sampo, Serval, and also Luka, which are 
all three of the people on our banner, which all do dot damage. Wouldn't really recommend Serval on the team because you do get diminishing returns with the extra shock. The bleed is a little bit better because you are applying an extra debuff to the enemy, which helps out with her four star light cone if you're using that one. And I think Luka is just a better character overall than Serval is. Uh, and the bleed's just really nice too. And also having that extra type of physical rather than having two lightning people on the team is really nice too. But yeah, Kafka, two dots, and a defensive character. But that's really going to do it for my quick start guide on Kafka. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Like I said earlier in the video, we do have a giveaway going on for Kafka right now. We'll also be having videos come out in the next couple days on reasons why you shouldn't summon for Kafka and also reasons why you should summon on Kafka. So make sure you're subscribed for those videos as well. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on Kafka in the comments below do you think my guide is copium do you think it's going to help you out or whatever the case may be anyways that's going to do it for today's video hope everyone enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one later Bye bye